guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to have you here today. I am going to be covering an exciting topic. We are just what, a little shy of two months away from Christmas. And so with that being said, I thought I would give you a few tips and tricks as you go thrifting to start um, preparing for Christmas as you are out at the thrift stores. So I have a list of a few things that you can keep your eyes open for as you are shopping and even um, some, so some will be some gift ideas, some will be possibly wrapping ideas, uh, gift basket ideas as you start trying to think through some of those. Pinterest is your great friend. So before you go out thrifting, I would browse some gift basket ideas, DIY ideas for, um, for Christmas and for gift basket ideas, things you can put together if you're thrifting to make your gifts look more of that, like a higher value at a higher uh, price point. Um, also just some things you can be thinking through if you find something. So for example, if you find one item, then you can look up that item. Uh, say you find a coffee mug, coffee mug, gift basket ideas. So then you can start to develop a mind for how can you start to pair things that you find at thrift stores or how, if you're at a thrift store and you find something that you like, what before you if you're like oh should i get it should i not you can be thinking okay if i did get this what could i pair it with and so i'm going to share a few things all of this is things that i have thrifted um within the last month and some really good things um are i have already been um on my pinterest board pinning things so i can have ideas and really my goal is as we are on a financial uh we're on a budget how can I make gift good gifts? I love gift giving and Christmas time can be kind of rough or kind of tough because you never, or I struggle. I never want to give just a thoughtless gift or a cheap looking gift. But again, we have to buy for a lot of people and how can I stretch that budget to go for all of these people and it still be a good gift? a thoughtful gift, a gift that is personal to somebody that is close to me. And so I'm hoping I can give you a little uh, insight into what I'm doing and hopefully that can be some encouragement and also helpful to you as you are preparing for the holiday season. So ultimately Christmas is about one thing and one thing only. It is about the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so that is why we get to celebrate. That's the only reason for Christmas. And that is the only thing worth giving to anybody. And so that being said, if you're also celebrating with a body of believers, that is the exciting part of the gift giving. It is rejoicing with fellow believers and knowing that we have the greatest gift on earth and we get to celebrate as we read through God's word, festivals and feasts and, and, and giving was so big with um, God in the beginning as he was getting the Israelites through and giving them the promised land. And then also after they're there, God continuously telling them to do these uh, celebrations in remembrance of him and so we want to do that as well and then also with that we get to give gifts so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it so I'm not jabber just jabbering on the whole time um but first I want to start with I have a list here so if you see me looking down that's what I'm gonna go through but I have a few ideas so I have cookware or should I say like giftware or giftware maybe uh, gift packaging so I thrifted both of these and this I can put cookies in I could put baked bread I can use it even as a gift basket if I wanted to put some grass in here and then put all the gift items in this box then that's what I could use this and then it already came with everything and then you can see it's a little treat kit that was $3 on Walmart and I got it for, I believe, 50 cents while I was searching. And then I picked up this tin. So I thought I could put muffin liners in here. 
and put different cookies or if I made different candies, I could fill this in with that, uh, fill this with that. Also, um, look, be looking for cellophane bags. Uh, now be mindful, stuff like this you can get at Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Um, if, so be mindful of the prices. Goodwill always has where um, things can be 25, 50, 75% off the colored tag that is on the item. So be mindful, sometimes you could get these for stills. If it's 99 cents and then 75% 75, 75 off, 25 cents. Um, along with that, like I said, with the cellophane wrap, I would just be mindful of the price points, always checking. Jars, be looking for jars. You can place cookies in there, put beautiful ribbon upon, on it, put a beautiful tag, and then you're good to go. I also want to do how I will be using these for gifts and the packaging and how that will look and the type of gifts I'll be putting in them. And so I would, if you'd like, subscribe so you don't miss that video. And then I have, I put, um, to be keeping your eye out for things you can personalize. So I bought these koozies and my thought was I would grab, you know, Stony Clover is really big right now. I would grab the, the initial of the person I'm going to gift it to and put this on, then on this, and then it's personalized. And then I can add it with a nice glass, uh, a package of soda or a nice glass bottle of sparkling water or something like that with a treat. And then it's under $5. So these came out to 50 cents each. And then I found these. And so I'm thinking for a grandparent, I could mod podge black and white pictures of the grandparent with the grandkids. And then this is simply as a beautiful gift, a set, and I could gift this. So that's another personalized item. Always be looking for book ideas. And so I picked up these. I know um, someone in my family who actually reads this author. And so the books are always a still this. You could pair it with wine and some crackers. You can pair it with wine and olives and cheese and a gift basket. And so always be looking through the books. Like these both look like they were never even cracked open. And so along with that, be looking for baskets. Like for example, that one I have everything in. I thrifted this basket so you can make your gifts and have them um so you have a somewhere you can be putting your gifts in and then it is like a non-conventional or a unique basket but now is also added to the gift to make it look lovely and nice and then next i would be looking for your kiddos children's items so i have this craft kit it's brand new I have these beautiful touch and fill picture cards, brand new. The box is still wrapped, never been opened. I found this watercolor book. Again, checking the books for your kids as well. It's never been used, so I could grab this. I could put it with um, some watercolors and that is a gift. So this, was, this retails for $23, it's still at Hobby Lobby. And I got it for $1.50. And then again, put some watercolors, wrap it up pretty. That is a gorgeous gift for a child. Uh, again, another idea for these cards, grab a real looking, um, is it Schlick, I think, has some, uh, there's some Tubi animals. Grab If I was to grab a tiger and wrap it around this, a lovely gift for your child. Um, and then you can make like a DIY basket for your kids. And then I actually had this in my Amazon cart and I found a whole pack unopened of these scratch boards that your child can scratch the black. So that's brand new. It says $2.99. And again, I usually always buy it if it is on sale, if something's not on sale, unless it's something like that I absolutely have. So maybe I didn't get this on sale, but I'm pretty sure I did. But even still, it was $3 for a brand new thing. 
I also would be looking for ornaments at the thrift store. So ornaments is something that when you're thrifting, I mean, when you're uh, packaging and wrapping, again, use use um, outside inspiration. Uh, I grabbed a whole bag of clear ornaments. There's 10 and for $2. And so my idea is, is that I can fill these with hot cocoa and then add it with a mug. I can fill these with, um, I thought, peanuts, different kinds like honey peanuts, barbecue peanuts, uh, candied pecans, and then put it with a nice bottle of wine. I can put it with a six pack of Coke, but I, and then split these up. Or I can just give them to the kids in their Christmas box to DIY. And so I really liked looking for this. If you find ornaments that your kids like, you can grab it and wrap it to, on their gift. Uh, there's so many ideas. So you can be looking for any sorts of wrapping ribbon. Again, I would encourage you also to be mindful of the price points. I have seen Goodwill going up on price. So sometimes you um, find wrapping, but it's actually still cheaper at the Dollar Tree or a good uh, Dollar General. And so again, be checking for the color of the ticket and if it is on sale for that week. Um, another thing I would be looking for is precious linens. And so I really like these, um, I guess you would call them doily. I guess this is still a doily. Um, it, somebody probably crocheted it themselves. But what I like about it, rather than using it as a doily to sit on the table, to use it as a dishcloth. And so I am planning on buying um, Dr. Dr. Wilkins hand soap. And so I am can wrap this, staying with the color, so gray, looking for gray soaps that are really lovely, um, or a gray uh, bottle of, um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, anyway, so you, you get the idea, like something within the kitchen area, so even a beautiful gray dish soap that you can pair with this, add a beautiful ribbon, and then it is a precious gift. And so this can be used again like a dishcloth. Uh, I also would be, um, if you find certain linens that you can gift um, to your kiddos, so for their beds or something that you can use as um, no waste wrapping. So gorgeous uh, uh, sheets or pillowcases that you can then use that to wrap your gifts with and then it's another gift. So you can use a pillowcase to wrap your gift and then that person has a gift plus the pillowcase. Another thing I keep my eye out for is really nice mugs. And so this is from the Hearth and Hand brand and it actually says Morning Beautiful. I have to work to get this sticker off because it's really rough. Um, I'm gonna have to use something. But with this, then you can pair it with coffee. You can use your mug, uh, like I said, and use your ornaments. So hot, fill it with some hot cocoa or fill this with hot cocoa and then put them together in a little gift basket. And then add a nice piece of chocolate, add your family Christmas card, and it's good to go for coworker, your children's teacher, anything like that that you can use um to give just a small gift to someone you just want to bless uh, your Sunday school teachers also I have um some candles like this one's still brand new so you can also wrap this in a little gift that you have for somebody so you can make like a cozy hot cocoa gift you can find candle uh candle holders really nice pretty ones that you can pair with a candle and then uh, again your family Christmas card wrap a pretty bow on it and it's good to go stick this in a cellophane bag along with a beautiful box of matches or a beautiful lighter from the dollar store they have these really cute lighters Martha Stewart has some really cute lighters at Walmart and then you have just a small cozy little gift to let someone know that you love them you care of them and you and you you're also being mindful to not break the bank. 
Um, and then I also wanted to say some Christmas goodies. So let me show you what I have. I have one right here. So Christmas books, Christmas movies, Christmas PJs for your kiddos. So I thrifted these for my daughter, but she already wanted to wear them. But I always like, after we put up the tree, to have a Christmas book paired with a Christmas ornament along with a Christmas PJs for my kids under the tree that we can use for the whole Christmas season. I don't like to give jammies and stuff like that on Christmas Eve because if it's Christmas themed, I just never th understood like, okay, Christmas is tomorrow and then it's done. So I always like to give it the, to them the day after we've put up the Christmas tree. So basically it's like either day, if the first day of Advent, we set up our tree, then these will be on day two underneath the tree for the kids. And that's like their advent gift. And um, so thrifting them, I have four kiddos. So being able to thrift anything like this, any Christmas goodies, even Christmas tops um, is really sweet. Which also, again, really um, a good way to be a good steward of your money. Uh, if you want to do something like that, again, if I don't find them and it's just not in our budget, well, then we're just going to have to do a book and an ornament or something like that. Again, ornaments are really sweet because you can find them right now at Dollar General. They're really, uh, uh, really cute and they're a dollar. So even better than Dollar Tree right now. And so that is a little bit of what I have been thinking through as I go out thrifting. I would encourage you to get a book and then jot everybody down that you have to buy for and then start writing down everything that you have thrifted so you're mindful of all the things that you have um already purchased take it with you when you go to the thrift stores and then start another list as you go through pinterest on how you would like to make a gift basket with the item you have so i already know with this I want to personalize it, so I have to buy a um, have to buy iron on, and then I know I have I want to give it with some sort of soda, and so I am looking for so I saw at Dollar Tree some beautiful uh, Shirley Temple soda bottles, so I'm gonna pair that, and then how am I going to wrap it, and and do I want to put something else with it, and so I have a list of all of that ultimately again keeping you on budget knowing you know what i'm not gonna be able to add blue chocolate it's just gonna be this really nice personalized koozie along with the soda and wrapped really lovely and that way you're able to keep everything together you are able to stay on budget speak with your husband if you're married on what you can spend what that looks like you're mindful of everybody that you have and again when i wanted to share this because i don't think i did if you're doing baked goods is a good way to bless people uh, with a gift but and it's, it stretches that dollar value so as i have been making cookies i have either doubled the recipe or cut that batch in half and then i bake it into a log wrap it up and um put it in the freezer and then freeze it and so as we get closer to christmas i'm able to pull that cookie dough out and then i can just slice up that log and cook it and then I have all these different cookies ready to go quickly I'm not baking I'm not worrying about okay do I have all my baking um, supplies ready to go and that way it just really allows us to be free to really enjoy God's Word celebrate the coming of our Savior and and, and spend time with family the way that we should be and the holidays is not something that we should be stressed about. The holidays is really something to rejoice, to, um, like I've already said, celebrate uh, our Savior and gift, give, be giving joyfully. We shouldn't be stressed and we certainly should not um, go over budget because another thing we have to be mindful of is as believers, we are called to be wise with all that God has given to us. And so being mindful of our budget and being honest with our husbands and the way we're spending that budget for Christmas and also understanding that when it comes to our kids, we do not need 
tons uh our kids don't need tons of stuff you know um because ultimately that is again not why we celebrate giving gifts is good giving gifts is a beautiful thing but pointing our children towards christ pointing our spouses towards christ and our family outside of the home who we will be celebrating with pointing them towards christ is the is the first and foremost of what we should be doing in this holiday season so i hope that is encouraging and i hope that makes sense and so again i hope you subscribe and follow along with my channel i also have instagram um at our home our our ministry our home our ministry the home oh my gosh i forgot our ministry the home and so I hope you follow me along there where I also, uh, as I'm buying other things that I haven't thrifted, I'm sharing you, I'm sharing gift ideas and how I'll be using that. And so thanks for following along and I hope this was helpful. Goodbye.